Hi friends! I can't believe it is already time for the November release, but that means that it is also time for the next leading lady. And as I've loved every single one that's come so far, and all of the ones that are still to come, uh, it's always an exciting time for me, and I love to tell you a little bit more about these sets as they release. So this month is the Photo Lady. And she's pretty near and dear to a number of us who are kind of behind the scenes on this one. Um, I think there are a lot of people in the world right now who are trying to capture more of their memories and more of the things that are really important to them. And one of the ways that we do that is with photographs. I happen to have some incredibly, incredibly talented friends who just kind of, and I know that if I called them photographers right now, they'd laugh a little and say, I just take pictures of my family or the things that I find beautiful in life, but they do an amazing job of it. I see so many talented women out there who are taking gorgeous photographs, um, some professionally, some just for fun, and I love all of it. I think it's such an amazing talent and habit to have truth, I'm not the best photographer, um, and it's not something that I naturally kind of go to myself, but I have so many incredible women in my life who are that I love thinking about how I can celebrate them with this set. I also love this lady because she could really do so many things and she could really mix and match quite a bit. And I'll talk about that more, but I just kind of wanted to walk through the set with you. And there are coordinating dies as always. And so just to give you a little bit more information about what's on this one. So we've got the photo lady. Um, she's wearing her sneakers. She's ready to go out, um, get things done. She's got her sleeves rolled up. She's got a fun striped shirt on and I'm already thinking about the million color combinations that could come of that. Um, she's got her hair kind of braided to the side so it's out of her way. She has one, two, three, four different types of cameras she can use. So she's got an SLR, she's got an instant kind of camera, she's got a classic film camera. Um, so lots of options there. She also has her phone, which I think is, I mean, honestly, the way most of us take photos, I think, <laughs> day to day these days. So I'm counting that one as well. I think it's an important thing to include. She can hold these in her hand, but she's also got this great strap that can go around her neck and hold the camera too. And I'll show you some examples of that. Uh, there is an instant kind of photo frame and a more traditional one. And these are perfect for putting something inside or just adding a bit of color. She's got a selfie stick. So no matter how we feel about selfie sticks, I mean, they're here and they seem to be staying and they are super useful. So she's got one of those and I'll show you a fun way I use that already. Um, and a great large size bag to carry her cameras in. It's really just an amazing bag and to be honest, I wish I could have someone manufacture some of the clothes and accessories we make for these ladies. All right, so sentiments, there are a number of them. And I was hoping that these sentiments might pair it well with other sentiment sets. Um, Julie has a great one out this month that these really work well with. Um, ones that you already have in your stash. So we just click, you capture the best in me, give it your best shot. Oh shoot, this one is perfect if it's an apology card or you missed a birthday, there's something belated. Um, this is developing into a beautiful friendship. You're awesome, no filter needed. So she's got a lot of really fun stuff going on in this set. And again, you get the dies. So let me show you some of the ways that I used her to create some cards. I always get a little nervous when I share these because my card making skills are still very rudimentary. Um, really, really basic. I am learning and digging through the awesome tools in the classroom all the time to try to get better. And then I see all of the amazing contributors release their beautiful cards and I get a little bit squishy about how mine turned out. But I love playing with these nonetheless. So I did start simple and I stamped um, the photo lady and I colored her in. And I just wanted to show you, so this strap goes kind of around her neck and you can attach the camera to it. I haven't finished gluing it down because I wanted you to see how easily those connect together. And this one is just an encouragement card that I made. Give it your best shot. So she's pretty fun there. I wanted to use that selfie stick 
And while she can hold it in her hand and that's really fun to do, I also thought it might be fun just on its own, especially with that sentiment, you're awesome, no filter needed. Just as a reminder to my friends about how amazing they are. Sometimes I think with all of our social media presence these days, it can be a little touch and go. We're putting ourselves out there, we're putting our faces out there, and there's some insecurities that can come of that. And I think we're all so incredible that I thought this card would be a fun one. And that little dotted background that you see there is actually using Julie's new stamp set. I just repeated it with two colors. So I think I'm going to make multiples of this one to be able to send to friends. I took the lady out again in all her glory, but this time I actually included a few more things with her. So you can see that she's got the strap around her neck in the camera, but I've also got her bag and I've got some little photographs. I'm going to see if, if I can get them to where you can see them. So those are really small photographs. Obviously they need to be closer to scale to her, but it is enough room to kind of decorate and design. I'm sure someone is showing something they released today that they busted out something amazing in these little photograph stamps, but I did kind of simple little um, wildflowers and a mountain scene. Just She's a nature photographer, I think, but it's a fun way to kind of customize that little bit of the stamp set. I always, always like to play with these little accessories and make cards with just them. I love the ladies, but it's also fun to think about what you can do with the set. I don't know about you, but I own a lot of product, and I love buying new product, and so the way I justify that is really stretching everything that I get and thinking about new ways to use it. So for this one, I've just used um, that classic camera, and I've done a repeat pattern and just colored in one that I've raised above. So similar, but not quite as many raised pieces as the leaves that I did for the um, Cozy Lady set. And this one is just, oh shoot, I think I might need to keep this for an apology card. Um, I think we all need to send some of those out at some time. And then I wanted to show you just a reminder about how well these sets work together. So on one hand, and I probably should have done an example like this too, and I will, I just don't have it in this video. Um, you can mix and match all the accessories from these ladies. So we've got the crafty lady, the plant lady, and I'm sorry that these are my crazy used versions. They were just what I could pull easily. Um, so we've got those two. We've had the baker lady and the cozy lady. And these are designed so that you can mix and match. So if you do pick up a couple of these, or you have the whole set, you can pair different pieces. So the cozy lady might also be a photographer and you could pair those pieces with her. Um, the baker lady might have some of the vegetables in her hand. She might actually be wearing that apron because she's about to get crafty and she's a messy painter. Um, like someone I know, talking about myself. So a lot of these things can be mi mixed and matched. Another thing that you can use together are the sentiments. So I made this card and I wanted to use this is developing into a beautiful friendship and kind of play on the idea of a photograph developing in black and white and color. So what I brought into color is just what the ladies are kind of bringing to the table, what their talents are. So uh, the plant lady is growing flowers and the baker lady is baking a big bowl full of cookies, which of course now I want cookies, <laughs> but I think it's a fun way to kind of play on black and white and color and also to mix and match some of those phrases so I don't have to just keep a set on its own. So these are the cards that I've created so far. I'm going to keep playing and have a little bit more fun with a photo lady. If you are a photographer or you know people, ladies in your life who love to take photographs, who are talented at it, who maybe just are the one in your friend group who always captures that quick snapshot of all of you together that ends up meaning so much. This is such a fun set for you. And she is the next leading lady. So I hope you grab her. And again, I hope you share what you make with her. And huge, huge thanks for your support of these ladies as they continue on. So have a great and crafty day.